Welcome to another Dragonlance Saga Readings episode. My name is Adam, and today I'm reading the DC comic Dragonlance number 26, The Gathering, part one of two. I'd like to take a moment and thank the members of this channel, and invite you to consider becoming a member by visiting the link in the description below. The Gathering, part one of two. In the hills near the glass seas, Reva Silver Crown's faithful dragon, Katar, watches over her sleep. But still, that sleep is not peaceful. No, no, Katar. For even Katar cannot guard her dreams. No! Katar! Katar! Wait! Come back! Reva! What in... Gathering, Part 1 Reva, what's with the dragon? I... I don't know. Something or someone is calling him. We've got to follow him. Griffin, this is insane. Risking the glass seas on the whims of a woman. Maybe so, Scrum. But we're still better off with Reva than facing Minotaur justice for treason. Your being unfair, friend gnome. Has not Reva earned your trust time and again? You forget, without the dragon, our quest has little hope of success. No, elf, you think. What if it's Ariston who's called the dragon? All we know, Reva's doing nothing but leading us to the Dark Goddess herself. Don't try my patience, gnome. Be assured, Scrum. I sense that whatever has summoned Katar is not evil. Oh, well, as, as long as you're both satisfied. Scrum! Easy, Reva. You should expect us to have some reservations. After all, you're not even sure of where we're going. If we've finished the debate, I think we're ready to go. Captain! As you wish. Unfurl the main sails! Hey, what? It's a damned minotaur! If you've sold us out, wench, you'll pay dearly. Stop! I sense no evil in this Minotaur. What are you, blind? Sorry. The Minotaur's one of us. Idiot! Oof! So get that sword out of my face! You frightened him! Hester's very sensitive! We're sorry, Captain. It's just that in the past, we've had unpleasant luck with Minotaurs. Who hasn't? But you have to understand, Hester is quite an exception. He... All right! What creep's been upsetting my pal? You okay, Hester? Uh-huh. I'm fine, Mesimir. They just startled me. Here, friend. We have no time for hard feelings. We must begin our journey. And at a near port. By the authority of the Council at Christophan, I 
Carolus commissioned this ship for the League of Minotaurs. Which of you vermin is the captain? I am the captain. The Minotaur League has no authority here. You've no right to... Right? Shunk! This is my right. Now then, two traitors have left this port for the glass seas. If you value your lives, you will serve me well. We sail at once! As she surveys the crystalline seas of Talidus, Reva Silvercrown's heart is filled with the wonders of a new land. She forgets her doubts and uncertainty for a moment. Reva, you must get into this sand suit. Reva! What? Oh, I'm sorry, Sulai. I was just thinking. This is a whole new world to me, and now I'm facing it without my old friend. Qatar. I'm worried, Sulai. What if Scrum's right? What if I am leading us into danger? All that I have is this vague feeling, and that's not much to go on, is it? Sometimes, Riva, it's the best thing to go on. And besides, we must find Qatar. He's as important to our cause as he is to you. We're your friends, Riva. We're all behind you, even Scrum. Thanks, Sulai. I'm going to need friends here. Twerk! Frunk! Frunk! Thump! Thump! Mesomir! Somebody stop him before I kill him! I wouldn't advise that, Scrum. Hester's awfully protective of him. We'd be scraping you off the deck for days if you... No! Reva? Not again? Reva, what's wrong now? I just had this vision of Qatar. A storm. He must be in danger. We must go faster. Faster, you hear me? Faster! We catch them or it means all your worthless lives. Nordos, Zamir, these two pieces of dead weight, take care of it. No, please. No! Karenas, you've pushed us beyond our limits. You promised us our lives. Honor your word. Fool, there is no life without victory. And there is no victory without death. Your death could easily be added to the equation. Later. There, if the winds hold fast for us, We'll soon reach the wind caverns of Rathna Volgar. We've no time to go around them, so I hope you're right about the dragon's path. I've never sailed the caverns before, but they're said to be steeped in strange elven magics. No offense to your friends, but that makes me uneasy. None taken. There's something else, something strange. Continuing this voyage goes against all my instincts and training as a glass rider. But somehow, I sense your quest is necessary, vital. Though I couldn't say how or why, it's almost as if I'm being guided to take you. But by whom? And Tara, do the glass rider religions speak of Paladine, the god of... Knock, knock. Captain, on deck, hurry! Hester, what is it? I'll tell you what it is. It's the damned Minotaurs. They've found us. 
Well, Merigees, is it the Minotaurs? I'm sorry, Griffin. I cannot yet tell. I can. I can feel it. It's the Minotaurs. And they're gaining. And Tara! I know! Make for the caverns! Full sail, you hear? Full sail! The wind caverns of Rathna Volgon, known in the Glass Rider songs as the Vaults of Despair, a place of mystery, magic, and death. Brother, do you feel? Yes, Sulai. The magics here are undeniably those of our ancestors, but different. As if filtered through a shattered glass. I don't like this at all! Vastal, bring the torches! These runes, Wizardus, they look elven. Do they speak of what lies ahead? They're all in ancient dialects, but I can gather rough impressions. Emotions, mostly. Sadness, worry. Fear. Whoosh. The torches! Whoosh. Howling magic winds propel the ship deeper into the grip of darkness. In the dim light of impending sunset, Karanus seeks to bypass the caverns. Come on! Pull, you spineless dirt dwellers! We must reach the far side before the traitors! This... Yes, this is madness, Karanus. Madness? Madness would be entering that den of elven magics in pursuit of two mages. This wind is hopeless. We can't steer. Can't even see. Sulai, a light spell, quick. I am ahead of you, Riva. Suddenly... The darkness is shattered. Good job! Better than I intended, Scrum. It seems my spell activated these crystal torches and somehow slowed our speed. Strange, these rooms are different, more refined. They appear to be a chronicle for some sort of gathering place. Gathering place? For what, Sulai? Dragons, Riva. Then I was right. Katar must be nearby. Perhaps, Riva. But we can't be sure yet. These caves are deep with mysteries. And I doubt the surprises are over. Antara, how much further? Not much longer, I hope. Here, I'm itching like crazy over here. Me too, Runt. What gives, Captain? Ah, oh, great. Cave spores. If their dust gets inside your suits. Oh, Captain. Look. Most of the dust is blowing away, but some's in my suit. Great Paladine, it burns! This is ridiculous! I've got to get out of this suit! Whoa! Spack! Abomination! They grow weaker! The cavern's end must be near! Weaker? 
You've got to be kidding. I got him. Hold him still, Hester. Whoa. Hey. Oops. Sorry. Yep. They are weaker and slower. Whack. Hey. The itching stopped. Outside the caverns, night has fallen, and Karanis lies in wait. Listen! Voices! They approach! And a storm as well! Can you not hear the distant sound of breaking glass? Yes, human! What of it? It bespeaks a shard storm, Karanis. Rains of stone and jagged glass! We must seek shelter now or perish! Karanis, look! Ah, the prey! Away, coward! Have your crew push off to victory! Well, that was pleasant. I hope the Minotaurs have as much fun. Ouch! Griffin! And Tara? We were in the caves, couldn't hear it approaching. Shortstorm! Captain! Up there! They've found us! That's it! We're gaining! Prepare to board the outlaw vessel! Forget it, Karanus! You're insane! Look at my crew! Being cut to ribbons by this storm! All hands! Abandon ship! Now! Aban- All right. That's it! Pay attention, you verminous wretches! This gnat has displeased me. He wants you to abandon ship. I do not. The choice is yours. Stay with me. Or join your captain. Blazes, Riva! We have to get below! Now! This is the storm I saw. Katar's out here somewhere. I've got to reach him. Save him. You can't help him now, woman. We must first save ourselves. Katar! Next issue, Aaron's Keep. Thank you for tuning in to this Dragonlance Saga reading. What did you think of the comic? Have you ever read Dragonlance comics before? Feel free to email me at info at dlsaga.com or leave a comment below. This channel is all about celebrating the wonderful world of the Dragonlance Saga, and I thank you for joining me in the celebration. Thank you for watching. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjabar. So